You're watching WMAR 2 News. Vandalism, threats to staff, and using pools after hours. Rex and Park and the Baltimore Police Department are concerned about a recent increase in bad behavior at pools. In a press conference, Commissioner Michael Harrison addressed reports of Foxtrot kicking kids out of Patterson Park pool after hours. What we know is that that pool was successfully closed at 6.30 p.m., but at some point, young people climbed over the fence. We have evidence of that, entered the pool. Helicopter spotted it, called it out. We were able to successfully uh, remove all of the individuals from the pool and secure it again. Now, most pools in the city close at 6.30 every day of the week. Neighborhood pools are closed on Sundays. We have all the pool hours on our website, WMAR2news.com. Now, City Councilman Zeke Cohen expressed concern that using the helicopter is a little excessive. He said on Twitter he does, he does worry about the safety of the children swimming at night without a lifeguard, but there are better ways to deal with it. He says he is meeting with the police department and Rex and Parks next week to address this. And in Maryland, the Abortion Care Access Act is now in effect. The legislation, which was the subject of intense debate back in March, was vetoed by the governor and the veto was overridden by the General Assembly. This new law establishes an abortion care training program within the State Departments of Health and a fund to pay for the program. It expands who is able to provide an abortion to include, among others, licensed certified midwives. And Apple says it will not challenge a vote by employees at its store here in Towson to unionize. According to Apple Insider, the company says it's willing to bargain with the unionized employees in good faith. Workers have not officially outlined their terms, but they say the reason for the vote was to have a say in what happens at the store. So far, they are the only Apple store to vote to unionize. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, your Saturday forecast is looking much better than, uh, or actually your Sunday forecast is looking much better than Saturday. Sunday, we're just dealing with cloud cover lingering, maybe a stray sprinkle, but most of the day will be dry and temperatures are going to be seasonable. We're going to spend most of the day in the mid 80s, topping out in the mid to upper 80s. But we warm as we head into your 4th of July, and that's looking fantastic to be out and about. Lots of sunshine with highs are going to top out near 90 degrees. And then the instability comes back and we're going to be looking at more shower and thunderstorm opportunities as we head through the middle to end of next work week. All right, Patrick, thank you. Click with us online for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching.